Hello everybody, John here. And today from a very cold to the garage. Um, we're back in the garage. Blue is still up on the ramps and stuck there until I can get calipers to arrive, which obviously New Year and all everything else is going on is just slowing things down. So I thought what I'd do is I'd fit one of the Christmas presents that I've got for Blue. And that is a set of Adamesh chrome uh, gills for these vents on the sides of the car. Now, when these cars were new, there was an option to have chrome um, air intakes or they're actually more of a styling feature than an intake. Um, but these were available in chrome and were part of the R options pack and I really like them. So um, I'm gonna fit these over chromes, which basically cover the top and bottom half of this panel and um, see how that makes blue look. I think they're gonna go really well with the dark bodywork. Um, they won't be to everybody's taste, that's for sure, but they're certainly to mine. And um, let's see how easy these are to fit. The car is filthy dirty, but I'm just gonna clean up this area, give it a wipe down, a bit of cleaner on it, alcohol spray, make sure it's completely dry, and then crack on with fitting these babies. I got these uh, great little clean down wipes, which are, are good for little localized cleanups, and they're very moist. So I'm not gonna damage the car. And I'm going to follow that up with a bit of uh, Demon Clean, which is just an active surface cleaner. Next, a bit of alcohol spray. And because it's not very warm in here, I'm just let the garage warm up a little while now. Well, that's like that and get on with the other side. Okay, so those panels are now clean, dry, and I've warmed them up considerably using my hair dryer. Um, so they're actually summer day warm now, rather than the rather cool temperature it is here in the garage. I've got the heaters on, so things will improve. Um, can feel a tiny amount of tar spotting on this, but I don't think it's gonna matter because of the way that the uh, adhesive is used on the covers it tends to be in little strips rather than a whole surface okay so let's have a look at the kit that we've got from Adamesh get me knife before anybody thinks this is sponsored this is bought and paid for with my own money I'm just a big fan of Adamesh's stuff <coughs> generally good value turns up quickly and if you have problems you give them a call and they're really good okay so nicely labeled packages left hand that's gonna go that way around on the top right hand so I'll put that to one side Left hand, a bit of bottom half, and we put that to one side. And we've got clean cleaning wipe sachet, sachet, cleaning wipe sachet, cleaning wipe sachet, cleaning wipe sachet. So one for each element. 
and it's not really something that's going to need any instructions it's very obvious what you have to do whoops Just get that out of the bag. Ooh, nice. Triple wrapped. <clears throat> so on the back here, again, up, left hand, um, XJ, 09, and greater. Well, mine's a 08, well, I think they called it the 09 model. Made in Taiwan, maybe yes. Okay, and we got these genuine 3M strips. Always good to see 3Ms marked on uh, adhesives because you know it's going to work. And it's wrapped in another protective film so you know there's no scuffs and scratches on this before you start. nice my first thing is just going to be to warm this up um it's not too bad in the garage now but again anything that's self-adhesive or got sticky on it tends to work better when it's at a nice um, warm day temperature back out with a trusty hair dryer It's always a good idea to have something like a hairdryer in your garage. Some people use a heat gun, um, as in the sort of thing you use maybe for stripping paint in the home. But um, my issue with them is you can turn them up too high. Uh, obviously, you can buy very expensive ones that are really good and got temperature controlling on. But again, the option is there to make things too hot. If you can point this at your head, you know it's not going to do too much harm to plastics and metals. This protective film, I'm going to leave on, but I do need to pull it away from the edges. Um, so I'm leaving it on the A surface, the surface it's going to show, because I'm going to want to rub and push to make sure this has got good contact with the car. And that might cause really small sort of abraded marks. So quite a good idea to leave the film on as long as you can. So I've got myself a nice clean piece of cotton cloth. My um, fitment. Still got the film on it. And one of the cleaning wipe sachets. And even though I've, as you've seen, cleaned this quite carefully using wipes, detergent and alcohol cleaner, just going to give it one last wipe over. This cloth is completely dry. And then <coughs> we'll be using the Adamash cleaning wipe sachet on it. Before I do that, I want to do a little trial fit. I haven't taken any of the tapes off. And it's to basically see where it's going to go, get any clues as to how to drop it into position, etc. Okay. Well, the first good news is it's a really obvious fit in that where it makes contact it kind of can't move backwards and forwards and right up against the existing piece of chrome is the right place for it to be um, it is a different profile here at the front there is a more subtle transition on the painted panel than there is on this panel where there's slightly more of a flat blended to a radius but 
once the panel's in position, you won't know that that wasn't the look. It's only because I've got the contrast there between the two, but I can see that. So that's what I'm talking about, just a slightly more flat curve as opposed to a very slight curve curve on this piece. IPA cleaning wipe just means isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> and despite the fact that I've got good quality alcohol spray that I can use, it's only a 90% alcohol spray. This is 100%. So absolutely nothing else in it. Right, it's a good tip when using wipes like this, whether they're alcohol cleaners, or if they're adhesion promoters, try to use them sweeping in a constant direction, in a constant pattern. It might seem completely excessive, which if you see my videos, you know I don't have a problem with. <laughs> but what it does mean is, if there's anything on the surface, you're not scrubbing it ran and ran and over to one side then back you're hopefully taking it away or moving it all to one point so i'm following a standard pattern and each time i'm doing it i'm just folding the tissue a little so i go a different surface also obviously take note of where the adhesive pads are on your chrome embellishment because that's the bit you need to be most careful of and get best in terms of condition. All right, I'm very happy with that. Again, just because it's a really cool day, I'm just going to flash it off using my hairdryer just to make sure there's no liquid left. It is alcohol, it will go very quickly, but a little bit of warmth. And I don't know if you can see it on film or not, but you can see the colour change as the alcohol immediately flashes off. Now that that's done, again, still got the protective backing on. Make sure it's away from anything sticky. Peel your sticky bits off, or backing papers, I should say. There's probably the proper name for these things, but um, the trick is to have some nails that are a little bit longer than mine. I would also say go for the smallest, fiddliest bits first, because that way when you finish picking around and mauling with them, you're not going to mess up the larger bits of sticky that are going to uh, hopefully do most of the work. There we go. Okay, so I've got this known point here. I'm going to tilt it back so it doesn't stick. So I can push up against that. Eye it up front and rear. And slowly lower it into position. You don't want to make too many corrections with sticky pads. Because once they've made their first touch, they do give away some of their adhesion. So one, one touch is the way to go if you can. All right, I've just made light contact. I'm just gonna stand back and have a look. And it looks like I've done a decent job first time. It's where my soft cloth comes in. Protection film still in place. Now obviously the sticky is on the edges. What I'm gonna do first is just press in the middle because it's an arched item. And doing so, we're going to allow it to stretch a little bit if it wants to. 
and then along the edges where you know the sticky pads are just get a right good push see the advantage of leaving the protective film on as I rub away at this because even with the cleanest cloth if you're rubbing really hard on relatively soft plastic chrome you're gonna scuff it there we go right that's fully in place now for the tada moment. Tada! Oh, I'm very happy with that. Very nice. Good effect. My glue's bit well straight away. We'll move on to the top piece. much smaller I'm hoping again because of this nice edge here should be quite easy to locate so same regime it's an own little plastic bag again nice that they've put a protective film on Just make sure it's away from all of the glue pads and do a trial fit. Okay, so with about, I say half a millimeter of possibility in terms of moving this around but if you pull it all the way back, it lines up with that other one. So my clues are gonna to be to pull this down and back when I'm positioning it. So now that I understand that, same as before, fresh wipe, one included with the pack for each item. <coughs> and on she'll go. Your biggest enemy to these sticking on bodywork is probably car wax. And as this is a jag, you can imagine it's had plenty. So that's what's important to clean so carefully and to get that nice squeak, <laughs> which says, yeah, we're making intimate contact with the painted surface when not gliding over the top of some sort of wax. Just going to blow my hairdryer over this just to warm it up to a fraction. <coughs> okay, we're going to pick off all these little bits and bobs. It's easier if you're a guitar player. Or oh, you like having your nails done so they're a bit longer than mine. There we go. If you are seriously struggling, then the edge of a craft knife obviously is a really good way of pulling these off or there's a good trick if you get some duct tape really sticky tape get a little strip of it stick it on you pull it straight off okay so again still got my backing on make sure you don't trap anything and do a careful light position okay 
in the middle. Let it stretch if it's going to stretch. Then round the edges where the adhesive pad is. This isn't going to come off because there's a lot of adhesive pad there relative to the size of the element. Because it's not going to be working very hard. And the ta-da moment again. That looks very nice. Well, I'm very pleased with that. That's another uh, little job done that's enhancing the look of blue and making a just a little bit more mine. I say it won't be to everybody's taste, but I think it goes well with the sovereign trim because all that bright work kind of extends around the wheel art, uh, wheel art, around the window line. Uh, the chrome door handles and then you come down here and follow the line down i think it works well and accentuates those really nice styling features which can otherwise get a little lost on the car well, that's it for this quick one guys obviously i'm going to carry on and finish the vent on the other side and i'll put a link in the description below this video to these items on Adamesh's website. So not a sponsored link in any way, um, just sharing what I've bought. I'm very pleased with those, I would say, if I wasn't. <laughs> um, if you've enjoyed this video and you wanna continue watching what I do with blue as I try and bring her back to uh, really good condition and then some, and all the mods and tweaks I've got planned for it, then subscribe to the channel. Or if you're more into XK8s, XKRs, X100s, then that is my bias. And Purdy is going to be getting some serious upgrades very, very soon. So don't miss out on any of those. Plus, we've got the Volkswagen T4 Trophy, which has got new toys that it's received over Christmas as well. And we'll be sorting them out real soon. So if I haven't said so already, have a really nice new year. 2021 is going to be better than 2020. I'm pretty safe in that. So um, see you guys. Bye.